Hey guys, it's my Pods and more with me. I hope that everything is going well with you and that you're taking care of yourselves and the ones that you love. As usual, there are some links down below. I'm not going to list them off, but one of them may be relevant after this video. Before I go on a convoluted diatribe and kind of lose track of what I'm asking, what I am asking is if you can help me attain a plaque at Brian Barchick's Legacy Aquarium, and I just want to talk a little bit, but probably a lot more about why. So, this is going to be the last video I make in this vein of things, so I'm sorry if this is getting redundant. So, I first want to say thanks for watching these videos, for listening to me, for sharing your time and commenting, and all of that. To me, that's the most important metric and the only one I really care about. Not clicks, not likes, or views, or bars, or, you know, percentages or rates of increase. What I care about is connecting. So I'm going to do my best not to make this into a vlog, but I want to focus this time on Brian's passing and how it's affected me, but on what would be maybe said as the more negative side of things. For some context, one of my very first memories is my grandmother passing of lung cancer. And seeing a lot of that at that age was very hard for me. My mother passed of lung cancer several years ago. My father is battling lung cancer right now. I never met either of my grandfathers. They both passed away before I was born, sadly. I know nothing or little to nothing about my grandfathers, as those were just kind of different times. And as I mentioned, I'm somewhat estranged from my father. And that makes it kind of difficult for me seeing Brian's beautiful story because I am a single father of three daughters and a disabled veteran. And seeing how much he lifted those around him and left so much for his family, his loved ones, the community, the reptile army, for anyone just willing to engage with him, it made me realize that I will likely be able to leave nothing, not for my kids, not for myself, not for you, and not for anybody else. I can't work, and as things get more expensive and my disability pay kind of stays stagnant, I can do less and less. I can't work, I can't put in more hours, I can't ask for a raise. I'm more or less stuck. I do what I can, but that is mainly to just kind of subside and get through to Christmas. A lot of what I do in regards to these videos and this channel is in a way a legacy to my kiddos. I only get to see them for half of their lives and that's not enough. Seeing your kids as often as you can in my opinion is never enough. I want my kids to be able to see parts of me that they may not ever get access to otherwise. I've had a conversation a few times recently where I have just shared with someone that one of my goals is to be an inspiration to my kids. When I, at some point, hear my kids asked, who is it you, I don't know if you say you want to be like, not someone that you want to mold your life after, but someone who inspired you and helped you become the person you are today, I want my kids to say me, not the singer, not the movie star not the actor, not the influencer, not the people who will never even meet my daughter, never remember their name. I want to be the person my daughters remember at some point and some facet of their life. But that's really all I can leave my kids at this point in reality. My words and my videos and hopefully leave enough of my soul and my spirit in them to be content. I also would like more though and Brian's legacy his plaques his reptarium his community the reptile army it's all something that would mean a lot to me having something like that something concrete something physical that my kids and <laughs> heaven forbid one day my grandkids and maybe great grandkids will be able to see and touch and interact with and then tell stories about so I'm asking again one of two things. If you can donate, great. The links are below. And trust me, I love you for that and am appreciative of that. But if you cannot, or if you can, I guess regardless, 
please share this with some people because that also would mean the world to me. So either way, thank you. It means, as I said, the world to me. I have trouble expressing these things, sorry. But regardless, thank you. Because as I say, I can't afford much. Because of that, I'm not upset or disappointed or expecting or anything of the sort if you can't contribute financially. And if you know someone and if you could share this, that would help. But ultimately, that's all I ask is your time and you sharing this. I am trying very hard in so many aspects of my life. I hope you believe me and I hope that some of you see this. But this is why it's something that is important to me and I hope even if you can not share this and you cannot donate, I hope that you at least now have a concept of why this is so important to me and why it means so much to me. Next week I'm actually going to be selling off a bunch of my old Magic the Gathering cards and putting some of my own money towards this. So I may do a little video of that, I may not, but just kind of letting you guys know. So again, if you can help me, if you can share that, and if you now understand at least, thank you. But regardless of anything, I just hope everything's going well with you, that you're taking care of yourselves and the ones that you love. Now I'm going to talk about something that is hard and I may omit this, but I think it's important and relevant with everything that's going on. I want to share my overwhelming and looming fear, and it's, I guess, simple and I guess rather typical. It's not so much though that I'm scared of this so much as it scares me that when I take a step back objectively, I already see this playing itself out, and that is that I'm scared to be forgotten, and again, This is something that has been in my thoughts prior to Brian's passing. Now, I am nothing special. I'm not unique. I see every day children growing away from their parents. It is under a myriad of circumstances, some good or bad or both or mixes, but I always see it. And these are parents that are better than me. They were raised better than me. They are smarter than me. They have more resources than me. They have more to offer their kids than me. There are ones who have done more for their kids than me. Ones who would give more for their kids than me. Just people who have been more successful parents than I have where I see them being alone. They have done all of that and I have seen them grow old and alone and be forgotten and some of these people have expressed these thoughts to me directly. I'm scared that one day when I die all of the people who could be with me right now who could talk to me, walk with me, share thoughts with me, visit me, help me, let me help them, let me listen to them, let me be part of their lives to share their time with me. All of those people who do not know me They don't know anything about me, will not know any of the above, will one day hear that I pass and all of those people will speak to me in vague concepts or things that they just know are the right thing to say about people who have passed. I believe a lot of those words in my case will be empty and hollow. I try very hard to be known and engaging, but as I say, I am that benign bull in a china shop, and I often do more damage than good when when I'm intending to help people, and when I'm intending to do good. As such, I will not force myself into people's lives. I will not hold them or force them to stay where they are as they're trying to walk or run away from me. There's that old saying, if you love something, let it go, and if it comes back, it was real love and meant to be. Anytime I have let someone go or stopped being the glue or anchor that kept them tied down, that has been the end of our relationship. I'm... Thank you for listening. Thank you for being positive. Hopefully, thank you for commenting down below and letting me know how your day is going aside from all this. But again, I hope everything's going well with you. You're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love. And thank you for listening to my biggest fear.